Mani Shankar Iyer, ladies and gentlemen, has sparked another controversy while speaking at the launch of the book Nehru's First Recruits. He referred to the Chinese invasion in 1962 as alleged. The BJP has hit out at the Congress, calling the statement a brazen attempt at revisionism. Is the big piece of breaking news that's coming in, ladies and gentlemen? Congress on the back foot yet again because of Mani Shankar Iyer, who has referred to the Chinese invasion of 1962 as alleged. This is coming in at a book launch where he was part of a panel launching the book Nehru's First Recruits. Listen in to what he had to say at that book launch. In October 1962. the chinese allegedly invaded india on the day that tawang fell the foreign service exams began in london when they were over the newspapers used to make references to me as being very left wing as being a communist Right, Mani Shankar Iyer once again putting the Congress Party on the back foot. I'm joined by my colleague Pallavi Ghosh. So, Pallavi, when it comes to any battle now uh, in the final phase, the BJP is going to hammer on this point, given the fact uh, and the kind of uh, optics surrounding the Congress Party as well as the Chinese Communist Party. To refer to the 1962 invasion where India lost a lot of land to the Chinese, as alleged, is something that the BJP has called clear revisionism of history. And at the same time, the BJP machinery now already started its con- its counter offensive against the Congress Party. And with la- the three days really left for the campaigning to end, and these are three days which could be the turnaround moment because the last leg always becomes the most important. And it's not the first time we all have been reporting on it many times on when Manish Shankar Iyer's comments on international affairs has actually only ended up embarrassing the Congress Party. The Congress will be left to kind of defend uh, itself or distance itself from Manish Shankar Iyer. But I have my doubts whether that's going to find any kind of a resonance. And the BJP has already begun to attack and question. that the point which is being raised by Manish Shankar Iyer of allegedly 1962 intrusion by the chinese is it actually his point of view and uh, or it is also of the congress and if you say it's not of the congress adviser manish shankar iyer gets away each time Absolutely, and Palavi. At the same time, this will always bring up the BJP's favorite topic when they talk about that MOU that was signed between the Congress Party and the Chinese Communist Party. At the same time, whenever the Congress Party now raises a finger at the situation at the LAC, the BJP now has ammunition to take on the Congress Party, saying that your one of your most senior most leaders has called the 1962 invasion where India actually lost land to the Chinese as alleged. Yeah, I mean, this is Rahul Gandhi's favorite topic too. I mean, every time the Prime Minister or the BJP shows a red eye to the opposition parties, particularly the Congress Party, accusing it of being anti-national, the counter which then comes in from Rahul Gandhi himself is that what about China? I mean, what about Galwan? What about parts of Arunachal Pradesh which is believingly being intruded upon by the Chinese? Now, this is a point which the BJP has already begun to make that you call us, uh, you accuse us on the Chinese issue. But look at your senior leader, someone who's a former diplomat, who actually rubbishes the 1962 aggression as uh, as allegedly insinuating that perhaps it did not even take place. 